Celebrities love to hate the paparazzi, but there are moments when they do indulge the invasive photos. Here are a few of these moments. Ryan Seacrest rumored flame Jasmine Waltz is out on the town with girl pal and former American Idol contestant Caroline Vreeland at 66 Bar in West Hollywood, California. The later kiss for the cameras and Jasmine feels Caroline's boob. Real double D's. Man. Jasmine Waltz, what's up, Burgess? How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm all right. You are looking lovely. You guys coordinate that outfit today? You wear, you wear black on top, you wear black on bottom? Black on top, white on bottom. She so, likes black on top or bottom. <laughs> I'll do black bottom, white top. <laughs> so rumor has it, um, you're dating Mr. Seacrest. Is that a rumor or is that real? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm dating Caroline. Dating Caroline? Caroline's pretty hot. I did Caroline too, it's a good choice. Thank you. Yeah, I would. I got like a I did. Hello. So how you doing Caroline? How, how's the music thing going? Good. Good, good. <laughs> Matt, this one. Have you heard her voice? No, go ahead. Killer. Give us some. Give us a little bit, Caroline. Give me a little bit. Give me a little bit. Come on. A little bit. A little bit. Little bit. Come on. Baby, please. Unless my Come along, my lonely days are over. Uh, yeah, laughing like a song. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord. Come on, now. I missed the kiss, That's man. I should have took. I should have took a photograph of the you kiss. Should've. Good Lord. It's kind of hard. I'm doing two, doing two things at one time. Thank you. Oh, my name is Twist. Thank you, Twist. You're welcome. All right, ladies, have a wonderful evening. All right. Well, so um, I hear you, uh, both of you have something in common with Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> Not the same thing you're thinking of. <laughs> so it was, Not so, her thing. So it wasn't a threesome. No, 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 no. no. All right. Oh, what's that? I don't even know what's going on. So you were on American Idol, weren't you, Carolyn? She was. I was unfairly disqualified, actually. Why were you, un dis why were you disqualified on American really Idol? Her for knowing her ex, which would be Ryan, Ryan Seacrest. Excuse me, honey, I apologize. Amazing. You look gorgeous, by the way. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Not as good looking as my two, but she's all right. So because you knew Jasmine and you knew Ryan, you yeah, got disqualified. Fucking, <laughs> good job, Jasmine. <laughs> I would never, she's so talented. It's yeah, she has a great voice. It's awesome. Have you heard her voice? Yes, I have. It was awesome. So, <laughs> all right, ladies. Well, have a wonderful evening, ladies. Bye. Bye. Oh, I gotta get a butt shot. <laughs> Good night, girls. What up? Man, you're rocking really fast. Oh my God. Charlie Sheen doesn't care if he misses a flight. Charlie Sheen arrives at LAX just a few minutes before his flight and makes airline staff nervous as he stops to smoke cigarettes and chat with photographers and fans. How's it going, Charlie? Charlie! Oh, really? Oh my gosh. How you sir? Everything was fine when yeah. you guys showed up. How are you, mate? Yeah. Got to see you. Hey, I saw that you... Oh, Wait, what's your first name? My name's Charlie. That's what I thought. How did I'm you remember? Because you have my name and stuff. Oh, I'm very flattered you remember my name, Charlie. Well, no, I knew you were something... Okay. You were either Carlos or Charlie. Yeah. Hey, Charlie it is, man. Well, thank you very much. What's your Debbie? name? Debbie? Debbie? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm Debbie, you Charlie? Yes, sir. Um, hey, Char Char Charlie, I saw you having a cigarette in the hairdresser before. Trying to multitask. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let him do his thing. Multi flask. Oh, ah. you can have that. Hey, you're, not, you're not drunk right now, though, huh? No. Define drunk. Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, I, I wanted to ask you something. The Golden Globes were incredible this year. 
Do you think that Meryl Streep should just let it go now that Donald Trump is in and everybody should just help him move forward? Oh, hell no. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> okay. I got a check I want you to sign, too. Uh, That's a hell of an autograph. <laughs> sign the back? Yeah. Like my agent? In the back. Like my agent? <laughs> Thank Charlie, you so I saw, much. I, I saw you earlier today you were yeah, having a cigarette while you got your hair cut. We don't want you to miss your flight. Hi, how, how, how are you? Doing? Where are you? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, Charlie, Charlie, I want to get some. We want you to make your flight. Oh, thanks. Oh, oh, what's your flight? How do you answer on that? You think Meryl Streep should move on and just accept the president? He's in there. Should we just let it go and help him achieve what the country needs? So you've asked a question that you've already answered for me. Right. True. Mm. Hey, Charlie, is this how you stay healthy? Is this how you stay healthy? With those things there? What other ways do you stay healthy? How do you stay healthy? Um, to honor Carol Merrill. Yeah, no, um, just, just, you know, um, walk more, eat less, I don't know, something like that. I saw you having a cigarette while you were having your hair cut earlier today. That was last night. Oh, that was last night? Yeah. How many cigarettes a day do you have? <laughs> Whoa, Kristen, that seems like a little too much information. Yes. Hey, Kristen, how are you? How about Russell Westbrook this season, all those triple doubles? Do you think Durant leaving was just like the best thing for the team ultimately? You do? It's fantastic. Do you think you guys will win the championship? <laughs> beat the Warriors, beat Durant. <laughs> oh, last phone case. I love it. Nice, put that out of the way. People call theirs names, mine is dumb and dumber. So oh, you call, your back. you call your boobs this way. Please. You call your boobs dumb and dumber. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. You call your boobs dumb and dumber? That's fantastic. I mean, you tell which one's dumber. <laughs> Depends on the day. <laughs> Do you have a favorite boob? No. No? <laughs> I've got a favorite ball. It's this right one right here. <laughs> Thanks, Kristen. <laughs> David Spade Show likes to talk about sports. David Spade takes time to chat with photographers and sign a few autographs following dinner at Catch in West Hollywood. The comedian quickly tilts the conversation towards sports, making quips about newly acquired New England Patriots wide receiver Michael Floyd. Because I'm your favorite, you get two in a row. David, do you think that uh, if Charles Manson dies. Thank you. These are this better pay your rent. <laughs> Put you through college. David, David, if uh, if Charles Manson dies this early into 2017, right, will that yeah. help make up for 2016 and all the bad stuff? Oh that yeah, happened? that's funny. To even it out. Yeah. Uh, you already did the joke. I'll just say yes. <laughs> <laughs> you agree though? But I have to say, I'm a sports guy. Right. And I just watched uh, Patriots this weekend. There's a guy named Michael Floyd that's on the Patriots. He was on the Cardinals. Yeah, yeah. I'm from Arizona. You get the DUI. I've never seen a guy profit more from a DUI. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I've never seen a DUI turn a guy's life around more. In a Not good way? Not only a DUI, like nine times blacked out in the front seat, and the Patriots are like, we need this guy. <laughs> Bail him out and get him on our team. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he was doing good on the Cardinals. It's like rubbing a bottle. You get three wishes. Yeah. Who doesn't want to be in the pages? How can I f*** up my so first. bad that I get on the best team in football? Are you happy for him then, or do you think that... Yeah, I mean, I like the Cardinals, but uh, I think he was he was going to uh, be off of anyway. If you had three wishes right now, what would they be? Oh, you sort of jumped <laughs> over. Uh, three wishes. One, end this on a funny joke, which isn't happening. Yeah. Are you concerned with Black Wait. China and Rob Kardashian? Oh, my God, every day. Yeah. <laughs> if you say Black China enough, does it sound like Blood China? It sounds like when you look in the mirror and say it three times, bad things happen. Black David, China! David, some people Black are China. now questioning whether Ronda Rousey Black was ever China. even that great to begin with. Like, what's your opinion Black on this? China. Yeah. China. Do you think she should hang it up? Is she Black done? Black China! I got a picture. Who's in the back? You again? <laughs> <laughs>
Piston, I need to come over Black China. <laughs> no, I think uh, Rhonda was was really good. Black China. Do you think she'll still have success? <laughs> Black still China. Doing the Do you think she'll still have Black success China. in Hollywood? I think she'll be successful whatever she does. Listen, when you fight those chicks, I saw that Amanda girl. I'm like, I don't know how you win if she's just uh, coming at you like that. Yeah. Maybe Rhonda should have stayed in the ground, but uh, who, what do I know? I'm just a. God bless you, David. And God bless Black China. Thank you, David. <laughs>